Hello guys, so today we will be doing bivariate analysis in SPSS. So since bivariate analysis consists mostly of cross tabs, we will be doing only that. Now uh, first we come to analyze, then descriptors and then on cross tabs. Then the two variables I am going to choose right now would be the people with, uh, with my respondents eat out and the age of my respondents. There is no restriction that it needs to be on nominal or ordinal scale, it can be on any common on any scale with any combination um, now for uh, to do the inferential analysis we will go to statistics chi square and contingency as well as phi and gramma phi continue then we move on to cells we go to percentages and we check the check the total column continue uh, then we press ok so that brings us to the <coughs> output tab now over here as you can be seen, the phi over here represents that uh, people who are less than 20 as well as who went with their family. So the total number of people who went with their family were 32 and out of those 32, 5 were less than 20 years of age and 8 were between the age group of 31 to 40 years. Now percentage of total represents such as the 6.6% .6 represents the number of people who were who went out with their family and were less than 20 years out of the entire 76 people who were uh, sampled. Moving further, we move on to the chi-square test. So since the peers in chi-square test is less than 5%, which we take as a significance level, we'll be rejecting our null hypothesis. And to know further what exactly rejected our null hypothesis, we'll, we'll be using symmetric measures. Now, under symmetric measures, there are three kinds of tests, phi, chromosy, and contingency coefficient. So, if our uh, above <coughs> uh, cross tab would have been on a square matrix such as 2 by 2, we will be using this phi. However, if it was a two square matrix, but the number of options given to our respondents were greater than 2, we would be using a contingency coefficient. And in case it wasn't a square matrix, we would be using chromosy phi. So currently we have 5 by 5, so it is a square matrix and it is greater than 2. So we will be using contingency coefficient to understand what, by what degree is there an association in our variables. <coughs> so since uh, we are rejecting the null hypothesis, we are accepting the fact that there is an association between the two variables and the association is by 62%. So that's basically bio analysis and thank you for watching